Hi folks, HR Funk here, with a video for all of you M1 rifle fans out there. Now many of you know that the M1 was designed during the early half of the 20th century, and it was designed around the use of the military spec ammunition that was in use at that time. Since that time, the 30 6 cartridge has been loaded to higher and higher pressure for use by hunters, and M1 shooters have always been cautioned not to use that higher pressure ammunition in the M1. Reason being, the higher pressure commercial grade ammunition can damage the action of the M1. That the damage that can specifically be done is to the operating rod, which can be bent by those higher pressures. So with our current ammunition situation being what it is, and potentially M1 owners and shooters out there not having access to M2 ball ammunition, but maybe some of them have some higher pressure commercial grade ammunition around, is there a way that higher pressure ammunition can be safely fired in the M1 without the risk of doing damage to it? According to Grand Gear, the answer to that question is yes. Grand Gear has marketed a ported gas plug that replaces the standard gas plug that comes on the M1, and the ported gas plug from Grand Gear increases the volume of the gas tube, and at least theoretically, it slows the opening of the action and the movement of the operating rod by several milliseconds, giving time for the pressure to taper off before the action starts to move. According to Grand Gear, this will allow the use of higher pressure commercial ammunition in the M1. They also claim that, that the use of the gas plug and the slower movement of the action will enhance accuracy, and they claim that you can still fire M2 ball ammunition in the M1 normally. Now this sounds like a lot for me to wrap my mind around. It sounds a little bit like they're saying you can have your cake and eat it too. But in this video, we're going to eventually head out to the range with this rifle, and I'm going to fire it with M2 spec ammunition, as well as some higher pressure commercial grade 30-06 ammunition, and we're going to see exactly how it performs. And here is a close-up look at the Grand Gear ported gas plug. And as you can see, when I compare it to the standard version, the difference is essentially the Grand Gear ported gas plug does not have the internal valve that comes in the standard plug. This hollowed out area is what ostensibly allows for the greater volume inside of the gas cylinder. And according to Grand Gear, this reduces the pressure inside the gas cylinder by about 30% and also slows the opening of the action by several milliseconds. This is what allows for the use of that higher pressure commercial grade ammunition. The Grand Gear gas plug will not allow for the installation of a bayonet, and if you look close you can see a difference in the screw slots there, so that is something to be aware of if you like to add a bayonet to your M1 from time to time. I'm not going to demonstrate the installation of the Grand Gear gas plug in the rifle, because if I do, YouTube will demonetize this video. But what I will tell you is it's extremely straightforward. You simply remove the standard gas plug and then screw in the Grand Gear ported gas plug. And at this point, I have completed that installation of the Grand Gear gas plug. And according to Grand Gear, the new plug does need to be torqued down to 10 to 15 foot-pounds. So with that very basic installation completed, it's time to head out to the range and see how the rifle is going to perform with the new Grand Gear ported gas plug. And as you can see, I've arrived here on the range in the middle of a snowstorm. As I record this, this is April 21st of 2021. And this is what we here in Northern Ohio laughingly refer to as spring. In just a couple of minutes, I'm going to start to shoot the M1 with the new Grand Gear gas plug installed, and we're going to see how it does. And first up is going to be some M2 ball spec ammunition, and we're going to see how it runs out of the M1 with that new gas plug in place.
and the clip ejected. So it ran just fine with the ammunition the M1 is spec for. Now let's try some commercial grade ammunition. And here we go with test number two. This is going to be a mixed clip with some Winchester ammunition and some Norma ammunition, both commercial grade, higher pressure than standard M2 ball. Let's see how it runs. I can definitely feel the difference in the recoil. The rifle is running this ammo. I don't know if I would want to shoot a lot of this type of ammunition through it. Even with that new gas plug installed, I would be worried about that operating rod. Like I said, I can really feel the difference in the recoil. Okay, it ran it. The rifle, at least at this juncture, doesn't seem to have suffered any damage. But again, I would be really concerned about running a steady diet of that commercial grade ammunition through this fine old rifle. So what about Grand Gear's claim that the ported gas plug improves accuracy? I've got one more clip of the M2 spec ammunition. Let's see what the 100 yard accuracy looks like. And we might have had a failure to cycle there with the M2. I'm going to wait for a little bit and just make sure that I didn't have a misfire or a hang fire. And no, looks like it did not feed the next round. We had another malfunction. All right. <laughs> so there is the result of one of those failures to cycle. Let's go take a look at what that accuracy did. And that accuracy is nothing to write home about. Now keep in mind, I am shooting through some fairly heavy snow, so it obscured the target some. That could have something to do with this accuracy. But I don't see anything in this that leads me to believe that that new gas plug really does enhance accuracy. Well, folks, it would appear that the concerns that I expressed earlier in the video about the Garand Gear ported gas plug were not without some basis. I was worried that simply expanding the volume of the gas cylinder to the point that it would allow commercial grade ammunition to function properly in the M1 would lead to marginal functioning with standard M2 type ammunition, and that's pretty much exactly what we saw on the range. With the Commercial ammunition, whether or not prolonged use would cause damage to the rifle, specifically the op rod, 
I don't know, it would take a lot more shooting, but I can tell you based on the recoil impulse that I was feeling while I was shooting the rifle, I don't know that I would want to shoot a lot of that type of ammunition through my M1 rifle, even with the ported gas plug installed. So at the risk of drawing the ire of Grand Gear, I can't really recommend their ported gas plug for use in the M1 rifle. And that's the video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, as always, make sure you forward those to me. Remember, if you order anything from Optics Planet, be sure to use my discount code, which is... And if you use that discount code, it's good for 5% off anything you purchase from Optics Planet. See you next time, folks. And until then, good shooting. Bye-bye.